episode seven of EFS TV. I'm Nathaniel Decker. Uh, we're doing things a little differently today, and I think I kind of teased this in our last episode that we were going to be doing an interview this week. Uh, we got a lot of questions regarding weight loss. Obviously, it was summer coming up. Everybody's looking to shed those pounds uh, to get in their bikinis and bathing suits and stuff for the beach or Lake Erie here in Cleveland. Um, so what I wanted to do was sit down with one and shine some spotlight on one of our clients that's had really, really good success. Um, here today with Laurel Galehouse. Um, she is actually down 112 pounds now mm -hmm. in the last like roughly eight months. So it's been eight months of really solid work. She's been with us for a little over a year, but eight months of like really buckling down and doing it. So what we were going to do is today we want to talk about, um, you know, just some of her experiences and stuff like that. And we're just going to have a conversation about where she was when she started. And so you guys can get a feel for how it is on a client side rather than just hearing us talk about it. So um, let's start with I know when you first started, you were around like 314 at your heaviest. 314 was my heaviest. Okay. Three, I, I gave myself a couple pounds and started at 310, but 314 was the heaviest I had ever stepped on the scale at. And I know you probably don't really like saying that. In front no, of the it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's, it's so embarrassing, but you know, you have to face, face it head on and own it. So <laughs> very true. And it's easy to own now that you're down 112 pounds. Yes. Right? Yes. That helps. So one thing that I want to talk about though, is what your mindset was whenever you decided to really own that. So starting then, you know, what was your mentality like and how did you feel physically and what made you decide, all right, I need to make a change? Um, it was honestly at um, Candy's Health Fair. I had just pretty much been at my heaviest. I'd lost some pounds, gained them back. Um, and then I was walking their little two mile walk on a hot day and I couldn't hardly uh, breathe. Um, so that I just, I felt awful about myself um, doing the smallest physical activities. I was out of breath and it was the worst feeling. Um, so that day, it was right at the end of July last year, I just decided it was time, so. Okay, okay. and I know we've come a long way since, but let's talk a little bit about our first workout. Do you remember that? It was bad. <laughs> I remember it was bad. I try to forget, but I can't. <laughs> right, so some of the exercises that we did, if you remember right, we did like the walkouts where you walk your hands down, touch your shoulders. I think we did three reps the first time we ever did it. We did little reps of everything. <laughs> right. And you could hardly talk while we were doing the exercises, which is something that sticks in my head because yes. a big thing at, from a personal trainer's side of things is whenever you really start to get, to get started with, uh, with a client, when we started on some exercises, it's really about the mindset of it. You know, we're looking to see how confident you are in the movements and kind of trusting us and what you're doing. And you never gave up, which is a good thing. But I know it was challenging because you weren't talking to me at all. Right. <laughs> so by the end of it, you were like, that was good, um, but I knew we had a lot of work to do. But talk about how you felt physically that day and how you kept your spirits so high because at the end of it, you were excited to see me the next time and I wasn't expecting that out of you, I'll be honest. I know you were tired. Right. So talk about where you were at mentally with that. Um, mentally, um, I was exhausted. Um, physically, I was exhausted. Um, it was a tough workout. I, haven't, I hadn't worked out in a long time. Um, I would try walking here and there and then I would just get discouraged. After the workout, I can't lie, I was defeated, but I knew that you were so positive. Um, you kind of kept me going and kind of looked forward to the next workout. So that was huge for me. Um, but just, I, it was just such a negative mindset I had because you had me doing these tough things and I could only do two or three of them. Um, but I just, I knew that it was a mountain I had to conquer. So. Right. And you've done a great job. Thank so you. <laughs> I, I want to fast forward a little bit now. So let's talk about now you're 203. 203. We just wait in. Yep. Okay. So we're 203 now. We're almost at that 200 pound mark. And yes, I already asked almost today, under 200. I already asked today, like, what have you done today to get that last three pounds off? So we're, we're really working to get under uh, that 200 mark. Let's talk a little bit about your diet. That's the toughest thing for so many people is the diet aspect of it. And you do so great with it. Yes. Um, one thing I will throw out there to any trainers that want some tips on how to stay on top of food, Snapchat is fantastic. <laughs> she snaps me all of her meals throughout the day, things that she's eating, what she's snacking on. It's a good way to keep on top of that. But anyway, the mentality of that, it really gets to some people. So what have you done to keep yourself motivated whenever I'm not around? Because I'm not always there. And right. there's, with my lifestyle and your lifestyle, you know, with everything with the business and then obviously with your career, right. we've had even weeks where we go without seeing each other, yep. but you've stayed on top of it. So what have you done mentally and what would be some tips from you, from the client aspect of staying motivated and keeping on top of that? I think the biggest thing um, is you have to make it a lifestyle. Um, you don't look at it as a temporary thing. You really have to look at it as a permanent thing. Um, and that was the biggest thing that I did. I, I, would look, I would look at something and just be like, is that really worth 
the five pounds I just lost or, you know, whatever um, it was. So I, I literally, it was just a mental thing where I completely shifted my mentality to this is my life now and there's no looking back. Um, and the biggest thing I would suggest to just anybody is find what works for you and stick with it and run with it. Um, the thing that works for me best, I am a huge um, vegetable and fruit person. I love to chop my stuff up ahead of time and pre-package it. Um, that way in the morning when I'm in a hurry to get to work, I can just grab and go. Right. Um, so that's that's been huge for me. Um, but other than that, like I said, I just, I changed my lifestyle overnight and I fully committed and it's just, it's worth it, I'm telling you. Because anybody that's out there and is doubting or you know feeling bad about yourself, I promise it's worth it. Um, and it's just, when you find something that works, run with it. So, right. I mean, that's what I've done. No, that's a great point. And I try to tell people too, because they always say, well, it takes time, which dieting does Absolutely. take time. It does, but a decision doesn't. Right. That decision happens instantly. instantly. You just have to get to the point where you're so fed up with it, where you're like, all right, this is going to, like you said, this is my life now. Yeah. This is how I'm going to move forward. And you've done so great with that. Yeah. And I, like I said, I just, I haven't looked back and don't think of it as a temporary thing. I promise once you see results, it's, it's going to be worth it. And you're just going to keep right. running with it. And so I always tell people results are what, that's the biggest motivator for anybody, right? Yeah, You absolutely. start to see the results and you're like, oh crap, it's actually working. So that's, right. it's kind of nice. Absolutely. Um, one thing that I do want to have you kind of explain to people or give some tips before we get off here today, um, what would you say to somebody who maybe feels like they've tried everything um, or they've maybe they have maybe they're where you were at when you started like upper 300s or lower 300s upper 200s and they really have all that weight but they just feel so discouraged and they've tried things before and it hasn't worked what would you say to that person as far as you know not giving up and things like that like what did you go through that kind of helped you out along the way um I would say um, you really do have to believe in yourself. Um, that's where it's going to start. Um, and then once once you kind of conquer that and get that mindset, um, I mean, I know I dabbled. I can't lie. I dabbled in like, you know, the shake, you know, the shake meals. And I dabbled in a lot um, and just nothing really stuck. Um, and then I think it was, I think it was about when I met you and kind of came into EFS that it's like, you have somebody that actually kind of believes in you um, and, you know, is kind of there for that extra support. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where, like, it kind of goes back to find what works and, and run with it. Um, but if you're, if you're, if you think that you've exhausted all your last options, don't. There's always something out there. Um, try new things. Try getting out there. It's getting nice out. Just start by walking around the block. Um, and just try to do two and then work yourself up. That's kind of what I did. Um, right. I never thought I would be able to, you know, run just a solid two miles on the treadmill. Um, and I am, but I, I would just say find something that works and just always believe in yourself because that's the person that's going to get you through everything. Because like you said, there are days and, you know, weeks I go without seeing you, but I just, I think of that mentality and I'm just like, Nathaniel wouldn't want me to give up. So, well, there you go. <laughs> so EFS is always in the back of my mind. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, and I love hearing that. Yeah. And you know, that... It inspires us to keep working hard and do the work that we do. Absolutely. We really enjoy working with all of our clients, and it's great to see somebody that has been as successful as you have. Yeah, so. I, I appreciate all your guys' help, and they commit to you, and you have to commit to yourself, but it's, it's, it's been awesome, and I have a lot more to go, but I've came a long way too. So Perfect. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Thank you work. so much. <laughs> so, all right, so that, that wraps up our show for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this talk with Laurel, and maybe you can grab some tidbits of that and get some motivation for yourself as well because she's been killing it. Um, she is part of our Fit Challenge. So and real quick, how much more are you looking to lose? Um, I would like to, if I'm at about 203, I would like to lose realistically about another 50 to 63 pounds. Yeah, nice. um, about so down to the 140 mark. About 140 to 150 yeah. is my is my goal. So right, and yep. that's what we're shooting for in the Fit Challenge, guys. So oh yeah, alone. So. <laughs> there you go. We'll give you guys some updates too on our social media about how Laurel's doing. I'll make sure that we get those out. Um, but in the meantime, um, look out for our episodes. So this is going to be episode seven, episode eight. We're going to go back to more of a Q and A style, answer some more of your questions. If you have anything that we didn't get answered today or that Laurel hasn't helped you out with as far as weight loss goes. Let us know, and we'll get we'll get back to you on those as soon as we can on the next show. Awesome! Perfect. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs>